In this video, you will learn about creating new steps, reordering steps, the content placement step, and creating work instructions with the UI editor. To make sure we are all viewing the same thing, go to Window, Reset Layout. And to start with, we can hide the Timeline Editor, the Asset Library. Let's keep the step hierarchy and the object properties, but also let's add the UI Editor. Before continuing, please also make sure that your UI preview is on by going to the View UI button. You can toggle this on and off. As a first step, let's create a new step and reposition this before the content placement step. The content placement step is the step marked with the cube. This step actually represents the moment when an end user will place their content in the real world and it will guide them through. So before that step, we can create a step that actually tells the user what our experience is going to look like. So to do that, let's select the first step, then go to the UI editor. Let's maximize it a little bit. In here, you can see that you can choose from a variety of templates. Currently, it is set to blank, but you can set it to a variety of different templates. To start, let's use a content step. In here, you can see a variety of presets, for example, creating insets with images, videos, and so forth. For now, we will not use it yet. Let's minimize this down a little bit. For now, we will also not use any headers, so let's minimize that as well. And within the text description, we can choose for a large box. We can go for preset, header stop. In here, we can write our description towards our end user. So we are going to use this step to introduce our users to the concept of placing content. So I'm welcoming them and telling them that they need to make sure that they have sufficient free space available. So by repositioning this step before the content placement step, in the end user experience, they will first see this message and then proceed to place the content in augmented reality. Let's also rename this step just for housekeeping. So then we can actually continue to the first step. We can rename it to step one. Renaming can be done by double clicking the step. So in this first step, we can actually also change our templates. Let's also use a content slide. I will hide the insets and hide the headers for now. Minimize again and in this case, we will choose for a small text box so that the user will have the majority of the screen available to actually see the augmented reality content. In this case, I will write a message similar to this one, asking a user to explore and walk around freely. To create a next step, you can press the plus button on top. When right clicking it, you also get a contextual menu. For now, let's just click it. A second step is created. And within this second step, we can, for example, tell our users which parts are the rotating parts of this turbofan engine. So to do so, let's change the text in the currently selected step. So we change the text to these are the rotating parts. And to actually show which parts are rotating, let's go to the step hierarchy. We can maximize it a little bit then expand the turbo fan and we can actually select the stationary parts and turn them to ghosted. You can do that both for standalone and device visibility mode. Standalone mode is most commonly used when you want to place your AR content anywhere in an empty area. Device mode is mostly used when overlaying the AR experience on top of an existing piece of equipment. So now we have actually a nice experience where part of the jet engine hull is hidden and only the rotating parts are highlighted. So to preview our very first set of basic work instructions, we can go to start simulation. So in here you will see that on the end user device, they will start with a welcome message. If they proceed to the next step, they will be asked to place the content in the real world. Continuing after that, we'll invite them to explore and walk around. 
and in the next step they will see which parts are actually the rotating parts of the turbofan engine. The only thing left for us to do is to publish the project now. So let's stop the simulation, go to publish, publish it as a passive session. And after this, we can actually go to the app and see what our end user experience looks like. So we have our welcome screen. Then we proceed to placing the content. Once the content is placed, the app automatically moves to the first step where we invited our users to explore and walk around. In the next step, you can see the step we created showing all the rotating parts. And to exit the app, just tap the three dots on top and select Exit Scenario.